another example of a septic system. I'll show you checking it for solids. Uh, this one had to be located. This one buried underground, so a little more difficult. Uh, luckily, there's a clean out right there that kind of gives an indication of where the tank is. If we look down here, first thing we're doing is looking at the at the crust. So this crust you can see is uh, I mean, looks relatively healthy for a system. It looks way over full of solids. Those solids are pretty thick. So I'm going to stick the shovel in it. I'll poke it through. Okay, so you can see there that that is floating about six, maybe even eight inches out of the water level. So it's going to put this thing at like 24 inches thick on the crust. Way overdue. So what should your tank look like when your pumper's done? Now let me show you down here. See, so you got a couple big rocks. Those aren't going to hurt anything. A little tough to get out. But they're just going to sit heavy on the bottom. And that's the bottom. Go ahead and put that pole down in there. All the sludge and all the crust. There's a little bit of water. The, the tank slopes to that side a little bit. Um, but like I said, a half an inch or so of sludge in the bottom of the tank isn't the worst thing in the world. But do not let your pumper convince you that he needs to leave several inches of sludge in the tank to restart your system. The system will restart just fine. The same way it does when it's brand new.